even now, we feel its absence. A voice silenced forever. You are born of our power. Does not our very life force flow within your veins? We feel such loss. Yet within you, we sense something else. Arrogance and satisfaction. There can be only one explanation. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Commander, we still have the body of the recovered alien test subject in storage. I can begin an autopsy at any time. It could lead to critical breakthroughs in our own research and scientific development. Although it had been years since I conducted my last autopsy, I found the process returned to me quite naturally. This subject was perhaps less intimidating because of its similarities to varying reptile species found naturally on Earth. Because of extensive cytogenetic modifications to the subject's chromosomes, this could very well be the only male variant in the entire species. I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They face a well-armed, well-trained enemy, and yet they never waver in their loyalty to the cause. Maximum power consumption reached. siblings and I have had our differences, but still, I would never have expected either of them to go down like this. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Tagged. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Commander, the aliens aren't slowing down. They've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe. We're running out of time. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Despite an extensive study of Dr. Valen's research report, I have yet to discover how she came to acquire such an impressive understanding of the processes involved in the editing and manipulation of alien genetic material. This fearsome creature, long referred to as a berserker, is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered.
get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. for the Mexican Regional Tract. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. A long run. The Elder's puppets come. Oh, yeah. 
What's over there? I will go. Yo me encargo. Got it. Si può fare. Double time. Los, los, los. I stand Scanning. ready. We've got a chance to take this thing down once it's all Commander, let's get it done. This is the shot we've been waiting for. Take that thing down before it has a chance to run. It did not strike the armor. Es 
Esegue e mi muovo! Eseguo! Zindabai! Overwatch! Five, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We must never doubt the depths to which our enemy will sink in their misguided beliefs. Today's cruel ambush of Advent Outreach Squads again proves that we can no longer tolerate XCOM's commitment to the violence and cruelty of the old world. End Elders of Vision. That is the purpose of all skirmishers. Until it is done, there can be no other path for us.
impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Setting course for East Asia. Hunting down civilians hiding in their homes doesn't make for much sport. But it's the only way I'm going to keep the Elders off my back. The Elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their Chosen are no different. The Resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. As if the typical Muton wasn't aggressive enough. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. I will be more than happy to dispose of it once I file my report. After a careful examination of the specialized advent unit identified as the Purifier, I have found clear evidence of genetic modification to the subject's thermoregulatory glands. These changes, in conjunction with their specialized armor, give the Purifiers an impressive heat tolerance, bordering on total immunity. valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Maybe we should start training someone else to pilot the Avenger. I'm never going to get any